I never thought I would see the day when Sarah Huckabee Sanders would be getting the boot. Now, she claims that she has left on her own accord, but I'm going to be quite honest. One, who thought that this chick was actually going to stay around for as long as she possibly did? I mean, with all the lies that she's told, I mean, think about it. Think of the story of Pinocchio. Every time he told a lie, his nose grew longer. But with Sarah Huckabee Sanders, every time this chick told a lie, it seemed the more her face began to melt as if it was wax falling down from the flame, you know, on a candle. But you know what? I'm actually glad that she's leaving. Not that I really paid attention to anything that she said and wouldn't have suggested anybody to as well because the woman had nothing but a bunch of lies spewing out of her mouth. Now, she took over the position that Sean Spicer had for, um, for 45. And if I'm not mistaken, it was close to around this time when Sean Spicer actually had got removed from that position. And Sarah Huckabee Sanders ended up taking his spot. And he wasn't in that position any longer than she was. I think he was only in there for what, maybe a year and a half, maybe at, at best. She had three and a half years. Now, it's very interesting because I'm looking at a tweet because I'm on the trending page for uh, Twitter. And 45 said, after three and a half years, our wonderful Sarah Huckabee Sanders will be leaving the White House at the end of the month and going home to the great state of Arkansas. She is a very special person with extraordinary talents who has done an incredible job. I hope she decides to run for the governor of Arkansas. She would be fantastic. Sarah, thank you for a job well done. Nothing but a bunch of lies throughout that entire tweet. And first off, governor of Arkansas? Yeah, that's a bit of a reach. I don't, she does not need to be anywhere near anything political ever. And I do mean ever again. I mean, it was so hard looking at some of the press conferences that she had to get up there and stand up there and uh, discuss and just look at her just lie <laughs> throughout everything. I said, I, I said, I felt like this woman is just incapable of telling the truth. Like she's just immune to facts, but she's very pro fallacy. You know, the term pro life. Well, Sarah Huckabee Sanders is pro-lie. Like, if you was to hook this woman up to a, a lie detector test right now, that whole entire exam would be fail. That little needle on the paper that determines a lie, that thing will be all up and down the, uh, the paper. It would look like a seismograph when an earthquake occurs. That's how much she lies. Now all she's probably going to do is go to another position where she's going to go and lie some more. Because that's all this chick knows how to do is sit up there and lie her ass off every chance she gets. She's probably lying someone right now. And I've always said I've never seen this chick smile. She always looked like she's had a bad day. She looks like she's had like a bad case of diarrhea. It definitely shows in her face. But the one time that I did see her smile, I was like, okay, maybe you should go back to your usual resting bitch face. Because when that woman smiled, imagine the hunchback, Quasimodo smiling. That's what she looked like. She looked like a damn ogre. It was just hideous. But she's gone now, and I'm sure they're going to put another liar in her place i'm just saying i'm surprised that she actually lasted uh this long but that shows she did 45's bidding very well but y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments like share subscribe i will talk to you in the next one <laughs>